Yeah, even when I tried during spring break, some of them were locked. Okay, because um, I had a same, the same issue with my pre-cal class. Mm -hmm. uh, turns out, like, I gave them all an entire chapter to just catch up on, and I moved it in the calendar, just like I did for you guys, and when they tried to sign on to do them, uh, they were all closed for them, too. So. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was telling me. It was closed. This assessment is closed. That's what I was saying. Okay, so I'll go in after class to, to figure those out. I think I know what the problem is um, because it, it, it worked for pre-cal. So it should work for you guys as well. All right. Am I sharing the screen? Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, first, some school updates and then some class updates. And um, what I want to do, I oh, forgot one. Um, there we go. Um, first thing is uh, some school updates. Second, some class updates. Um, and then lastly is going to be in terms of coursework, it's actually all similar. We're going to do finish up unit two activity six and finish up unit two activity seven. Um, both of those things are uh, surprisingly very similar things. So there's not very much for us to do today, actually. Um, so school updates. Uh, I don't know if you guys have gotten the email or not. Um, uh, it seems like, so I think I had mentioned this before. Um, it may look like we're going to do this through the entirety of the, re the this semester, mm -hmm. summer semester, and possibly even fall. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. Yeah. All I yeah. need is math, and then the rest I need is labs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sucks. Um, yeah, so then this looks like it will be the environment like we're gonna have to do this uh until the end of the calendar year whoa i know that's unexpected i know that's very unexpected um I had lab classes to do too like in-person classes <laughs> yeah yeah so um they told us they told us don't be surprised if this moves into fall and we're like oh really okay um, so this might keep going into fall. Um, I think if I recall correctly, uh, they did push back this. I think the email was sent out. At least it should have been, um, the, uh, the drop deadline for everybody, I think got extended just in case people still wanted to drop. I don't know if that'll still count against, like if you got a W or not. Um, all I know is that they pushed the, the drop deadline back um, for, for everyone. Um, so, yeah. Um, up to now, I they told us all campuses are closed. We're not allowed back. Um, so, uh, Let's see. That's it. That's it from what I have for um, uh, school updates, uh, class updates. I'm still trying to figure out a couple things specifically. I'm trying to figure out how to do your guys' exams. Um, I'm going to have to do them remotely. So it's either going to be through Canvas uh, or through, well, it's going to have to be through Canvas, sorry. Um, just trying to figure out how to make them work. That's it. Um, since I can't proctor you guys, so I'm, I, have you guys talked to other students in your class or other classes on how they're going to do their exams yet? No, no, no. Um, there is a, there is a proctoring. Let's see. Okay, um, there is a proctoring sort of 
program out there. So you know how there's Zoom for video conferencing like this? Um, there is this uh, proctoring service online called Proctorio, and there's another one called, called, called Honorlock, um, where it'll proctor the tests for me. So I don't have to really watch you guys take it. It just makes sure that you guys aren't fumbling around and cheating. Um, but they both require a camera on your guys' end. Um, since that wasn't a requirement for the class, I don't think I'm going to allow it. Um, so I'm thinking of just doing uh, something online where uh, it's going to be a little harder than usual, uh, but it's because I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be using your notes, even if I do make it easy or difficult. So I'm going to roll with it. I'm not going to make it overly difficult, but uh, just a little bit tougher than uh, what you would regularly see. Um, so yeah, um, if you guys got any questions or comments about it, um, just let me know. Um, yeah. Uh, in terms of the test, I put in, I put in your tests, I think like middle of last week. Uh, yeah. people did fairly well on it. Like a lot of people, I think the hump was in the bees. What was considered a C on it? What was considered a C? Just the same thing, 70 and above. Oh, right on. Okay, I did decent then. Yeah. Um, so since you're not able to go back to school, what's going to happen to all the assignments you didn't grade? So they're, they're still graded. Um, I just won't be able to hand them back to you. That's the problem. Hmm. <laughs> so um, I think it was you, uh, uh, Rebecca, that, that asked, like, specifically on the test, like, how do I know what, ha what I did wrong on it? I won't be able to send them back. I don't have anything that uh, I can use here at home to uh, scan them. Does that make sense? But what I can do is um, uh, I can... Uh, if you come to my office hours, my virtual office hours, I do have the tests and I did mark them up. Um, so uh, I can show you specifically what, like I can project to you through Canvas or through Zoom, uh, your test. So you can see what's wrong, what, what you did wrong on it. Um, that way, so you can see where you fumbled. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And it's practically going to be me holding up your test on the camera. That's it. Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. um, class updates. Uh, you guys are still having to turn in your work. Um, I think I put up everything through mod or through unit. Uh, what is this? Unit two. Yeah. I think I put up everything through unit two up for you guys to start uh, taking pictures and downloading or uploading your uh, assignments uh, to Canvas. And I'll be looking though at those uh, later on this week. Cool. Uh, what was what was it called? How, how about the process or the app, not the app, but the thing you used to upload it? Uh, well, it's going to do it through your Canvas app. I tried to do, I think I, I had everybody try to do like a cam scanner. So it'll mm -hmm. scan it and then convert it to PDF. I think for the majority of you guys, though, it didn't work. So I'm not going to bother with cam scanner. I'm just going to go ahead and have you guys just take a picture of your work and turn it in. Okay, just take a picture and then upload it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Got it? Yep. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Any questions that you guys have for me? I don't know if uh, you guys do in terms of school updates, in terms of, of a class update of some sort. Um, anything at all? The conference call is pretty quiet without Rob. I know. 
think who he is. What am I yeah. I talked to him earlier today. He came to my lab hours. Mm. And uh, uh, yeah. So I was thinking that he would be here by now, but I wonder if he's one of the people that, that's getting locked out. He might be. Yeah. No, nope, he hasn't sent me an email yet. It didn't lock me out. I went through the canvas area where you know, how I usually do it, and it let me through. And it let you through? Huh. That's I think, same thing, like I, I think I had mentioned this all in, at the beginning of class. Um, the students in my pre cal class that did that uh, were also able to sign in without using a password. But like, for example, I think it was you, Damon, that uh, tried to uh, uh, sign in through maybe your Zoom account or some other fashion that it didn't work. Where um, uh, it required you to put in a, a meeting password of some sort. Yeah, I usually go in through the link. Which link? The one to the email you sent back a while ago. Ah, uh, that one. Oh, OK. Hmm. And then I tried the office hours one on the, the And then that one didn't the, work? Did the same thing. Same thing. But when you sent okay. that email, it, it worked. OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, so the problem there was, uh, I think I, I had covered this just now. Um, Zoom had gotten sued over the weekend or over spring break <laughs> about uh, people Zoom bombing. Um, so basically, ran, rando people um, showing up to somebody's Zoom meeting um, without their consent. <laughs> And then doing the ver nefarious things on it. So I, I gave the example. Yeah, I gave the example of um, it was an eighth grade teacher, like somewhere in Texas, I think it was, um, that had a a random person sign into their her Zoom classroom, and started playing porn. <laughs> That's fucked up, but uh... <laughs> I mean, for everybody else, it gave oh, it gave us it gave the rest of us a chuckle, right? Um, but I'm pretty sure it was very frustrating for the teacher. Um, so yeah, they got sued, uh, and they're, they're changed now. The, um, I guess their modification is to start password protecting zoom meetings and that's the start of it. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. 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 I heard about, well, I heard, yeah, I've seen, or some, cause some people upload it on stuff to like what happened to capture it and all that yeah yeah they did some interesting stuff yeah it's pretty funny what people do on here is like you're at home but you wouldn't do this in person mm -hmm. <laughs> that's exactly it man no consequence for yeah yeah, right. people. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah anyway um if there's nothing else in terms of updates, um, I want to go ahead and get started with Unit 2 Activity 6. I actually finish it up. Um, no matter what, though, if you guys have questions, uh, let me know. Um, I am almost always in my living room with my phone, so I know when people send emails now. Um, so if you guys got questions, let me know through an email. Cool. Okay, um, we were practically about done with this section. Um, it was a good thing that I left these open for you guys to try. Um, well, it's a good thing that I left these without being done so that I can do them uh, when we got back today. So let me go through. Let me do a quick review really quick about all this stuff. So we did a bunch of this one here. We had this thing going on, right? So we were able to, come on, there we go. We were able to do these already. These were the exponential stuff, right? Um, and they're useful and all, right? Uh, but sometimes we need the exponent, right? Um, and that's where the log came in, right? Or sometimes we needed the base. 
right? Um, that's where the square root portion came in, right? Uh, and each one of these had sort of a uh, relationship between the three, right? That you can bounce from any one of these to any of the other two uh, pretty readily, right? And each one was used for different things. Like I said, this one would be the value, right? You would take some number to an exponent, you'd get a value. Uh, this one get, uh, got you your base, right? So if you had the number and an exponent, then you were able to get the base from it. And then this last one down here, right? If you had the base but don't know the exponent, then the logarithm would get it back for you, right? So that's what we covered last time, um, particularly what we were practicing with a lot was going back and forth between the three, right? So we threw in a bunch of examples here. Come on, there we go. We threw in a bunch of examples here um, to sort of get a handle on going from one method to another, to another, to another, right? Um, and then we finally got down here we were actually able to use those things, those conversions from one method to another to another, to actually start solving things. So in the first one, actually, let me go ahead and uh, do this one again. Actually, not entirely because I don't wanna, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the pen, the red pen. Uh, so the first thing, so, we see here, right, it's that 2x that we want sort of by itself. We're trying to solve for x, so we're going to get everything that has that x attached to it uh, gone, right? And the first thing we needed to get rid of was that plus 4. So this plus, or this 4 that's right here. Um, it was a multiply, so we needed to divide, right? So that's how we went from here to here, okay? And then finally, uh, we have the exponent, we, or, uh, we need the exponent, right? And we have the base and the value, so then that meant we were able to use the logarithm to get that exponent, right? This right here, the very first one is called the exact answer, okay? And once we plug it into uh, our calculator, we got the approximate. Got it? So this one right here is the one that actually is the approximation. This is the one where we had to, we got a big, huge, long decimal number and we had to truncate it um, we had to just uh, approximate it by just four or five decimal values. How do you plug in log two? Uh -huh. How do you plug in log two? So um, let me, here we go, okay. Don't worry, whoa. Not what I wanted. I am trying to get my screen right. There we are. Okay. So let me share my new screen. Okay. Does everybody see the new screen? The one with the calculator on it? Yeah. Okay. So if you guys go right here to math. Right? Uh, and we're gonna scroll all the way down till we get to this option right here, log base. That's the one that you want. You go enter. And it gives you all the stuff that you need. So log base two. Can a regular uh, calculator do that or? A regular good old run of the mill calculator? Probably not. You'd need a graphing calculator to do this. Oh, uh, so you should just go on like, like online to do it then? Right. So um, the other one that I showed everybody was, <clears throat> um, if you go to Desmos, 
So let me uh, let me show you guys Desmos. So if you go to Desmos, start graphing. Let me get this out of the way. Why is this not? Okay. Um, me actually, I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, here we go. So this is what I wanted to show everybody. You, if you guys click on the keyboard from below, so you guys should have this keyboard sign here on Desmos, uh, and you go to functions, and I believe you go to miscellaneous. Yep, there it is log A. So and here's where you get to put two of five. And notice it gives us the number itself. You guys got it? Yes. Okay. So just in case, I'm, I'm pretty sure some of you guys have like a regular sort of like, what is it, a scientific calculator? So it's got more buttons than your regular calculator, but less buttons than uh, a graphing calculator. Or the other option is, I think I showed you guys from the very get-go, um, the conversion from a rando base. Let me see. Did I or did I not? Now I'm trying to think of whether or not I did. I thought it was in here somewhere. Or maybe it wasn't you guys. I think it might have been my pre cal class. Okay. Um, for now, either which way you do it, so you guys have the Desmos way to do it and the calculator way to do it. So either way you guys want to do it is fine. Got it? Okay. So what I want to do now is solve the other ones that I left without solving. So for this one, right? So I want this thing all by itself. So I need to move the minus two. How do I move that? Add two to the other side. Right, plus two, plus two. So I get left with uh, 12 is equal to five to the X, right? Mm -hmm. Now what do I do? Divide by five on both sides? Not divide. Oh. So now now that's that's the base, right? We're looking for the exponent. Mm. What is it log five times twelve equals x? Log five of twelve, but yes, that's correct. So in here, right, we have one of these scenarios going on. Let me actually go back up. Right? We have one of these going on. Right? So we have we have this right here, right? And we need that X, so we'd have to go here. Got it? Mm, got it, okay. So then let's go back down here, right here. So in here we do, so our equivalent version, right, is log base five of 12 is equal to x. And now, let 
We go over to our calculator. Uh, math. Five. Log base five of 12. We get X is equal to 1.5439. So again, right? This one is what we consider our exact answer. And this one is what we consider approximate. Since we had to round, whoops. And we had to just give a couple decimal points. That's what gives it away that we're approximating here. Got it? Let's do the one below it. So, Notice what we have. So here's the thing with the exponent attached, right? We need that thing by itself. So we need to get rid of this minus one and this 240. So which one's the first one we can get rid of? Does it matter what one we start with? Huh? <clears throat> does it matter which one we start with? Yes, it does. Oh, we're gonna be quiet. <laughs> uh, the negative well, one no. right the, yeah, the one is the one that we want to get rid of yeah so how do we do that plus one on either side yeah plus right one side. plus one plus one so this is going to be 240 uh, point five x over four is equal to nine now what minus 240 not minus. Divide. Right. So there's a multiplication in between there, right? In order to get rid of multiplication. And divide. You got to divide. <laughs> right. So 0.5 to the x over 4. I'm going to leave it this way. 9 over 240. Yeah. Hmm. Now what? We, I think we have to log it. Now we log it, right? So let me start with this side. So, well, what's it all going to be equal to? So let's go back to the thing that uh, of our little triangle. So what? tell me what to write. Log 0.5. Mm -hmm. 240 or 9 over 240 log point 0.5 of 9 over 240 is equal to what one fourth plus x to the fourth nope point seven three six Oh, is it the fourth root of 0.5? No, not not in this case. So in this case, I, I think you guys are looking at the right thing, but not executing it properly. This side's going to be the x to the fourth. Mm. Or x divided by four. Does that make sense? So oh, if, yeah, we, sense. if we remember our conversion, right? So if we had a to the b is equal to c, that converts equally to uh, log base A of C is equal to B, right? So uh, this, this power, right, is equal to that C, right? So same thing happens here, right? So our base in this case, right, is our 0.5. Our exponent is the x over 4, right? 
and the last thing, our C, is the equal to, right? That's our equal to. That, and that's our exponent. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Okay. We're not done yet, though, because there's a an x over 4, and we just need x. So how do we take care of that? Multiply the 4. Right. This one's the easy one. So times 4 times 4. So x is equal to log, whoops, uh, 4 times log of 0.5 of 9 over 240. And now we are done. This is what we call the exact. Oh boy. I know. Hmm. Now, how do we plug this crap into our calculator? So let's go ahead and turn on our calculator. It's going to be 4 times, and we're going to need to use that log base one, that one. So the base is 0 0.5. 9 divided by 240. 18.947. Yep. And this right here becomes our approximate. Mm. Got it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I knew it was in here somewhere. So uh, I think it was Rebecca that asked, like, how do I plug in the rando log, right? I showed you guys how to do it. Like, for example, I think the, the question came from here, right? How do I put in a log 5? You can put it in your calculator the way I've been showing you guys, right? Or you can use Desmos. Uh, the other way you can do it is this. This has become, this is going to become sort of antiquated very soon. Um, there is a log base B conversion so that you can use the regular log values from, um, from a regular calculator. Since your calculator has just a uh, log base 10, uh, you can go ahead and use this right here to get a value for it if you need it. But like I said, we have Desmos and we have nicer calculators. Okay. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to move down to these. These go backwards. So before we had exponents and we needed to change them to logs, correct? Now what we're going to have is logarithms and we need to change them to exponents. Got it? So, for example, this one right here. How do we do this one? Tell me what to write. Tell me what to do first. What's your hunch tell you? Multiply by three. Multiply by three. So I'm going to do times three on this side, times three on this side. So times three, these cancel. Right? Log of 2.5 is equal to 2 times 3 is? What's 2 times 3? 6. 6. Okay. This is the, like I said, now we have to change it into an exponential. Right? So this is the equivalent of what? Tell me what to write. 2.5 to the 6th power equals x. Right. 2.5 to the 6th power is equal to x. And we are done. So, again, this is our exact.
And if we actually plug this into the calculator, I think I showed how you can put this into your calculator, right? So this one, it's the caret button that's right here, right? So 2.5 to the six, we get that. So then X is equal to 244.141. This is the approximate. Got it? Yep. Okay. Let's do D, the one before below it. Same thing, right? We're going to have a logarithm, which we need to now ex, uh, change it into an exponential. So tell me what to do. Tell me what minus to write. Minus seven. Right. So here we have a minus seven, minus seven, right? So 1.5 log base 6 of 2x is uh, minus 3. Now what? Do you need to get rid of the 1.5? Okay, how do you do that? Oh, I was guessing. I was, I was, that was more of a question <laughs> than an answer. <laughs> divide by 1.5. Right, so you divide by 1.5. So there's a multiplication in between here, right? So divide, divide by 1.5, divide by 1.5, gone, gone. Log base six of two X is equal to uh, negative three divided by 1.5 is negative two. Now what? Is that the exact? Not yet. So we need x by itself. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't times it by two. Nope. Not yet. It would be like log two to the six equals two x. Close. Hmm. Close. How about I put the conversion up again? So a to the b is equal to c interchangeable with log base a of c is equal to b. So remember, it's always this way, right? It's this to that power is equal to that. Six to the negative two is or equals two x. Exactly. So we have six to the negative two is equal to two x, and now what? Divide by two. Divide by two. So uh, six to the negative two divided by two. This is now our exact. And if we actually do it on our calculator, right? So uh, six to the negative two divided by two. Point zero one three eight eight and bar. This would be our approximate. So why wouldn't you divide six by two? Like, why do you have to plug in the whole thing? So, well, remember how exponents go, right? Uh, so you have to do six to the negative two first and then divide it by two. Okay. So that's order of operations. Hmm. Yay, nay. Yay. 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 You guys are getting into hard stuff, yo. Okay. Um, 
what I want to do now is um, all you guys had left for this section is just a bunch of group problems. So I'm going to give you guys uh, a good 20 minutes, maybe a little longer for you guys to try the group problems out. Uh, I'll answer questions on them once you, while you guys are doing them. Um, within there, I want everybody to take a break of about 10 minutes, if you guys can, uh, and do your business. Go get, uh, go get a snack, go eat your cereal, um, go to the bathroom. <clears throat> cool? Sounds good. Step outside because it's a nice day today, it seems like. Not gloomy like it was for the tail end of our spring break. Yeah, it's pretty nice outside. It's regular yeah. Day. <laughs> yeah. We should have class outside. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. That was a good one. <laughs> I'm finally getting to see a uh... seeing who's who's in class and uh somebody decided to call themselves chlamydia <laughs> you have to clap <laughs> their username is chlamydia <laughs> and that's me once again yeah <laughs> they should have come up with like a nasty voice yeah and that's me <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. Oh my God. And who, somebody uh, a week ago, or no, two weeks ago, was a, was it Tacos con Todo? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, was that you, Damon? Yeah. 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 Hey, we're locked in our rooms and in our we're secluded, right? You gotta have fun somehow. Yeah, this is literally my only entertainment. Yeah. Literally. Like it's gone from seeing like you know. 50 people a day Hello, this is to maybe seeing Hi, sorry. I told you one at most two, three people a day. If that. 149. Uh, 149. Yep, 149. <laughs> it went like, at least my day, right? Went from seeing maybe 50 people a day on average, right? And and this is not just like seeing 50, like interacting with 50 people a day to interacting with just like two people or three people a day, if that. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, because like, yes. I, I only, like now, I only, uh, I only teach a, or uh, like, I only, I only talk to my wife while I'm here. And then just today I talked to my, my building supervisor and that's it. That is the entirety of everybody that I've been talking to. I just get on uh, PSN and I'm good. No. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I've been trying not to play video games but I've failed miserably. 
It's yeah. the only thing to do. <laughs> yeah, it's the only thing to do. Yeah. I mean, I, I have other activities I can do. Like, so like, I think I've told you guys, right? I have a, a big, huge telescope at home mm -hmm. here. Um, so I, I can pull that out and uh, I have a small little patio where I can uh, point it up. And I get to see a couple things here and there, but like the last couple of what, three, four days maybe, it's Sorry. been cloudy. Um, I think, uh, so, I think, uh, Max yeah. And then listen to music yeah. and then that's it. Yeah, I'll be back. Give me a second. You ain't ready for those 1v1s, Chlamydia. <laughs> Down for Warzone. <laughs> that's all I've been playing for the past six hours. Yeah, that's what I've been playing mostly, too. <clears throat> it's pretty easy. I don't know. Compared to other Battle Royales, it's pretty easy. I'm going to try to get the professor to jump on it. What's that? I'm going to try to get the professor to jump on it since it's free. <laughs> yeah, huh. yeah. Make me jump on what? Modern Warfare Warzone. Modern Warfare, huh? It's free. Back in my day, uh, yeah. I used to play, um, what's it called? Counter-Strike? Okay. Oh, man. I, I don't have my... Which is the, the very first one. Yes, go. Counter Strike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back then, it didn't have like, what is it? It wasn't called CS Go, CS Go or nothing like that. It was just Counter Strike. That's it. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Mm -hmm. Oh, ignore me. Um, and then yeah. there you go, Deanna. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there a is there a report? You can see what we're doing. Hey, thank you. I... Okay. Um, Here we go again. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> hmm? Me. I have a question. Yeah. Don't know if I did this right. So, for A. For which one? For A. Or the, for, the very first one. Oh, for uh, on page 149, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, we got to take away two. Okay. So we end up with log 1.54x in parentheses equals 7. So then mm -hmm. you got to switch that around. And then I ended up with 1.5 to the 7th equals 4x. Does that sound right so far? Yep. Okay. 
Thank you. And then yeah. I just, but when it comes down to the four X, do I, don't I have just? That right uh, right now. Sorry. I'm going to plug in the 1.5 to the seventh power in the calculator, but what do I do with the 4x, though? Yeah, so, well, it's a multiplication between those two, right? How do you get rid of a multiplication? Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Right? That's the both sides I have to divide by? Yep. Or just that, okay. Yeah, you divide, if you divide one side, you have to divide the other. So the 1.5 into 4? Yep. I have a question for for that one. Would the exact solution be in a have a log in it or no? No. Okay. Your exact solution for that one would be a uh, will have an exponent in it. Okay. I get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Bro. And um, for the approximate, how many decimal places do you want? Uh, three is healthy. Okay. Um, I mean, hello, oh, right here. Um, yes, I heard, I heard what you were saying. Um, the, there's no CFS uh, case open anymore. Um, I haven't gone outside yet. I should have logged on to the um this thing. It's a little too much, but I can text You guys want to see my backyard? See how much work I did? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All I see is the San Francisco Bridge. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a nice backyard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> You're right. Um, let's see. Choose background. Need to turn it off. There you go. There you go. Well, there you go. That looks good. I mean, there's some stuff that I didn't pick out, but all the weeds are gone, so I can yeah. walk around. We. And see, this is what I mean. You see that? Is that from the neighbors? <laughs> yeah, that's from the neighbors. It's like you got yeah, a garbage I... can. Huh? It's like they got a garbage can. I would yeah, I would exactly. throw it back over and be petty. <laughs> <laughs> I did once, so I guess there was a a little uh um uh, what are these things called? Um It, it, they're like malt liquor, but they're like in little bulb bottles. Mm. Um, they uh, threw that over like a couple of times. And uh, one time I caught somebody actually throwing it over. And I just grabbed it and like threw it. And they threw it over and like they started to walk away. And then I threw it back over. Like, <laughs> 
directly right after that. And all I heard was then they came by and just picked it up and it was walked off with it. Like, well, can you do that to begin with, you little shit? <laughs> Wish it true. Yeah. <laughs> I'll grow a swisher tree, huh? <laughs> it's so annoying, though. And that's not the only thing. And then, like, I don't have kids, but I have like a like little uh, footballs and little beanie babies that fall from the balconies from above. So yeah. How's everybody doing with it? Pretty lit. Not Pretty sure good. if I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And, um, I'm trucking. Okay. Just trucking along, huh? You know what? It was a nice day. doing all right yeah i am but i have a question in a second yeah what you got um so one second let me write this out real quick Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm doing this right for B. So, got to divide by 20, right? It's actually a pretty decent setup. <laughs> All right. What do you got as a question? Um, For which one, first of all? B. B, huh? <clears throat> so do you uh first thing you do is divide by twenty, right? Yep. And then once you're done with that, you end up with one point one five over x two equals four. And yep. then from there you do x over two equals log one point one five one point one point one five equals four, right? Say it again. X over two equals log one point one five equals four. Let me hold on. So I was out in my living room. Hmm. And I was like, maybe I should go do maybe I should take my tablet outside. So I did. And I forgot the apartment complex over next to me is doing um landscaping today. And that's the blower that you guys heard just now. So
So first thing, what was it? You said divide by 20. Yeah. Divide and by 20. end up with, uh, in parentheses, 1.15 and x over 2 on the outside. Is equal to 4. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the next step, you get x over 2, right? Okay. And that equals log 1.15. And do you put equals four after that too? No. Okay. But you're close though. So it's log base 1.15 of yes. that four. Oh, okay. So that goes away. Okay. So then the next step would be X equals two times log point. Point one point shit. Sorry, log one point one five equal. Sorry, not equals times four. Yeah. Okay. 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 Gotcha. And that's the exact. Right, and that would be the exact. So the 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 step here, right, is you times two, times two. Right. Mm -hmm. So then x is equal to two log. Whoa. of 1.15 of four. All right. I think that's what you were trying to say, right? This one. Yeah, just it didn't come out right. <laughs> yeah. So then that in itself becomes your exact solution. And then your approximate is when you plug it into the calculator. How are people doing? Pretty good over here. Okay. Uh, Deanna, I know you, you like doing yes. chat. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, did you copy down the other ones? Yes, I'm trying to. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's those. Uh, this is from page 148. Okay. So in the first, when you subtract the minus two, right? For the first one, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. For a, you mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, minus when you two. A, then you have to divide it by four x, right? Well, first you convert it to the exponent version. Okay, I see. Modern warfare, huh? I'll grow a swisher tree, huh? <laughs> you gonna be leaving me hanging with my gamer tag out there or you're gonna have me? <laughs> Wait, where is uh where's your gamer tag? It's at the end of my comment. There it is, big six. <laughs> okay. Do they have, yeah, well, yeah, Modern Warfare is on Steam, so I can add you. I'm not on my computer, though. But... On my desktop, though. I'll add you when when I'll uh, when I uh, get on my computer later on today. How's everybody doing?
Can you move up to page 148, please? Yeah, give me a second. I'm moving. Okay. To what? 140 what? 148. Oh. Those ones, right? Yeah, thank you. Maybe we'll do um, another five more minutes before we move on to uh, activity eight. Okay. When we're gonna have the skill quiz, right? Huh? When we're gonna have the skill quiz? The skill quiz, the, the mastery <laughs> quiz, I have to figure out how to do those. Um, really? Well, let me not say that. I know how to do those. I have figured it out. I just need to, make the thing in um in um canvas. Uh, uh, in canvas for you guys to do it that's it take all the time you need yeah i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you guys a question. How many of you guys still like wake up and prepare yourselves just like you usually did before? Yeah, I do. <laughs> you do? I have to do it. It's the only thing keeping me from going crazy at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I have to stick to some sort of routine. <laughs> yeah, that's te technically that's that's the uh, technically that's the idea. You, you have to maintain the routine. Well, I am not doing well with that. <laughs> 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 All right, I always want to go somewhere like because I always want to like go outside and travel travel somewhere but then I always remember oh wait I can't do that yeah, yeah. same I always want to go out in somewhere I hate being cooped up mm -hmm. yeah then move the page if you want I'm done thank you okay okay Can I have help with D? D. Okay. What do you do? Um, how far have you gotten? I, I'm looking at it and I don't know what to do. I don't know how to start it off. Same well, thing like you starting it off, starting it off, I get it, but the second step. I, I okay. So I tell me what you did it. first. So I know you're going to have to divide them either divide or subtract. But I don't know which one to do first, so I'm guessing divide first. Mm -mm. Add, add, no. nine first add nine to the both sides. Right, it's the add nine to both sides first. Okay, I think that's what you were referring to, right? So I I, I know you said it was either multiply or, or um, divide or subtract. I think that's what you said. Yeah, it turns out it's the the adding one or the subtraction one that you had to get rid of. So plus nine plus nine. What goes away? The nine. Right. So now you have this, right? Four log base five of X over three is equal to one. Now what? Divide the four. Divide the four. log base 5 of x over 3 is equal to 1 fourth. Now what? Mm. 
And don't we have to log it in or put it in the log now? Well, it's already in log, but what do you got to do? Mm -hmm. Equals like five to the one fourth equals x. Right, and you want to put it in exponential form. I think that's what you wanted to say. Right, so five to the one fourth is equal to x over three. Right. Yeah, x over three. And lastly, uh, is that the exact right there? Not yet. Close though. We need x all by itself. Multiply the three to the other side. Right. Multiply three. Multiply three. So these three cancel out. So now you get left with x three times five to the one fourth. And now this is our exact. Wait, how would we plug in one fourth as a fraction? As a exponent? Yeah, sorry, exponent. Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead, turn on your calculator. Yeah, I'm at the carrot point right now. The carrot point. Okay, so then you're at three times five to the. Yep. Right, that thing. Four. Do you want four? So here you can actually just put plug in one divided by four. So one. Divided by oh, okay. four. Right on. Right there. One seven five. Four point four eight. Yeah, four point four eight six. Yep. Oh, that gave me something so different. You what? That's weird. Maybe it's just the T eighty three. I don't know. I have the exact same thing you have. And oh, but I have you 3. have the eighty five. Okay. Okay. So. You have the 83, I remember this. So you would have to do this. Good thing you brought it up. So three times five to the, right? So your mine does this. Yours probably does a, um, um, here, let me actually, can I switch it? There's a way for me to switch it to the old way. There we go, classic. Boom. Okay, so this is what happens with yours. You have five times three to the, right? Uh, here's where you have to do a parentheses one divided by four. Mm, okay. Does that make sense? You're telling the calculator that all of one fourth is the exponent. So before it was thinking that the exponent was just one and then dividing it all by, by four. four. Okay. Right. When you have to tell it one fourth is the exponent. So that's why the parentheses are so useful here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And then you get the same answer that we did before. Ooh. How are people feeling? <coughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. So when you're just dealing with the, like for E, mm -hmm. and then like right afterwards, right after you add five, you just, you're right into the log 10. It's not add five. What do you do? 
Divide five. Divide five. Divide. See, it's, oh, uh, I didn't see the multiplication. Sorry. Yeah, it's a multiplication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me rephrase what I said. Okay, so you end up with log 10, x plus 3 equals 4. So, negative 4. Neg oh, negative 4. Because it has a negative. But yes, you get left with that. Yeah, I answered my own question already. Okay. I thought I was going to get stuck, but just look back at an A. It's basically the same thing. Just, you just yeah, it's pretty there. similar, yeah. The only difference here is in, in A, you have <clears throat> time uh, 4 times X, right? Yeah. So when you had to divide at the very end, right? And in E, you have X plus 3, so you have to subtract that 3 at the very end. Isn't that from a video game? Can't remember which one though. Roadblocks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's getting hella mad at the dog. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of dog you guys have? <clears throat> He's um Chihuahua mixed with uh with uh Do you remember if I can't think of the name? Uh a beagle. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he's hyper. Yeah. Mine got wet, so oh. I threw him in the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, um, uh, my parents had a, used to have a little dog. It was, it was a female puppy. Um, it must have been the runt of a litter of some sort. Um, but imagine, everybody lo knows what a golden Labrador looks like, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Imagine a golden Labrador, right? All the features for the golden Labrador. So it had the ears, it had the, sh the, the snout, it had uh, everything, right? It had the gold, whole, the gold coat, right? Everything didn't grow past the size of a chihuahua. Wow. Like for its whole life? Uh, unfortunately, she passed away at one, uh, at like what a one year and a half Aww. uh and i'm pretty sure it was it was a uh, it was our i'm pretty sure it was our uh, the neighbor that was like our rear gate our, our rear fence um i'm pretty sure she was the one that did it um but yeah it was a a little dog that didn't grow past the size of a chihuahua and it literally looked like a golden Labrador. I've never seen that before. Me either. That's why I was like, this is weird. Like she, she was like a golden a Labrador is supposed to be, you know, I between medium and large sized, right? It's supposed to be huge. Yeah. But she never grew past uh we, we had at the same time that we had her, we had a Yorkie Terrier, like a small little Yorkie. Um she was smaller than the Yorkie Terrier. <laughs> wow. Yeah.
So I don't know. I don't know how that happened. All right, you guys ready to move on? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So what we've been doing for the last couple of uh, classes, right, has been messing around with um, uh, exponents and then we moved on to logarithms and we know um, how to cycle through the three versions, right? So the one with the square root sign, the good old exponent, and um, the one where we can switch it to the logarithm, right? And each one of those had something specific that it'd give us, right? Um, for activity seven, uh, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna be looking specifically at the logarithm and the properties that it has, okay? Um, there are certain things that you can do with logarithms. There are certain things you can't do with logarithms. And um, we're gonna look at all those and see what the differences are um, that are sort of global for all logarithms. So you, know, you guys know that we can have a logarithm of any base we want. Um, there's a, a bunch of stuff that's sort of like globally true for a bunch of these logarithmic functions. So that's what we're gonna study for unit two activity seven. Um, so we're gonna consider log base two of x, right? We're gonna just consider that equation. So if this is equivalent, right? If we switch it to the exponent form, right? Uh, is gonna be two to the y is equal to x, right? Make sense? Um, so basically saying, you know, what, so this is the graph of the exponents, right? For base two, for a particular value of x. So we know from the very get-go, from the very beginning, right, that log base two of eight is three, right? This is equivalent to saying two to the third is equal to eight. Got it? Yeah. Okay. We know that that's the equivalent version, right? But now let's try this. What happens if we put in a negative eight in that spot, right? That is equivalent to saying this right here. two to the y is equal to negative eight, okay? Now, I wanna remind everybody of this equation first. So if you have a to the minus b, that is equivalent to what? Can anybody remember? Mm -hmm. This was maybe like three weeks ago, huh? Like a to one over b? Ah, uh, close. One uh. over a to the b. It was, you, you were close, though. I remember that. You remember this? If you don't, it's okay. I, I, I know that we've had maybe two weeks of classes plus spring break, and we've all been bored out of our freaking minds. So this has easily got to be one of the things that everybody should forget. Not with Modern Warfare. <laughs> Not with Modern Warfare. Um, so this is the conversion that we have for a negative exponent, right? Make sense? Now, my question is this. So I highlighted this thing right here, right? So it says there, no value for y makes uh, x negative, right? Why is that true? What was that again, I'm sorry? So, from here, right? Is there any exponent that I can plug in to y to get negative eight? Uh, an odd number, right? Hmm? Like a negative odd number? Well, let's try them out. So how about we do, so let's start with two to the zero. That's always equal to what? Zero. Uh-uh, close. One, right? Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Two to the one is? Two. Two. Two <clears> to <throat> two is? 
four. 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 Two to the third is eight, we saw, right? And what do you guys think happens over this way as we keep going? We're all positive numbers, we're greater. Right, these are all positives, right? And keep growing, right? Mm -hmm. So now let's go in the opposite direction. So two to the negative one is what? Negative one over two? Not negative one over two, just one over two. Two to the negative two is? 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Let me actually, that's gonna be one over two squared because of our handy dandy little formula, right? Yep. So now let's keep going. Two to the negative third is? One over eight. Point one. Right, one over eight. So one over two to the third. And let's do one more. Two to the negative fourth is? One over 16. Right, one over 16, right? So what does it look like happens in this direction? Shrink. The numbers get smaller, like the fractions get bigger, but it never reaches zero. Exactly, so they get smaller, right? But never reach zero. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And more importantly, they stay positive, right? Yep. Because it goes, if you look at it, right, it goes from one to a half to a quarter to an eighth to a sixteenth. So does it ever look like we'll get a negative value? No. No. Nope. Will we ever get zero? Nope. Why? Because we know when it's ever going to be zero, it's always going to be one. Well, that's talking about this point right here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but same thing again, right? So why can't we never, why can't we ever have zero in here? Because it doesn't exist. Right? Unless the number you're putting an exponent on is zero, it's still, you never reach it. Right. So turns out the answer that we put down for number one works here too, right? That all positive, all positive exponents, right, will be just growing, right? They'll just be positive and keep growing, right? And if we put in any negative numbers, right, uh, they get smaller, but they'll never get to zero. Make sense? Yeah. So that's the answer for this one as well. We can never have x equals zero because the negative exponents, right? They just make them smaller and smaller and smaller. Got it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and make a use of our technology. So there's two ways to do this uh, in terms of a table. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it on the calculator and then I'll do it on Desmos separately. So for a calculator, I'm going to put into my y equal uh, math 
one more up, that one. Log base two, I'm gonna do of X. Got it? Yeah. And uh, if we do it on Desmos, let me do two, whoops, of X. We'll get to the graph in a little bit. So then let me do uh, Y equal. Is everybody seeing my screen? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here's the graph. We'll get to that in a little bit, but specifically what I want to do now is I want to uh, go ahead and show you guys how to do a table. And I think I had shown you guys how to do a table before with lines and exponents, but not with this. So again, we're going to go second table. Mm -hmm. And this is where we get our table. I want to set, so if you do table set, I'm going to do, here I'm going to do negative one. Whoops. Negative one. And my table's going by uh, 0 0.5. So this is where I'm going to do my changes of 0.5. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now if I go to my table. So notice what happens, right? Yeah. My first two first three actually give me an error. Right? But when we start with point five, that's where I get my negative one. It's gonna be zero point five eight four nine. Two is one, and if I scroll down just a little bit, 2.5, and three, 1.585. Oh man, I got a bunch of different numbers. Double check uh, how you plugged it in. Yeah, I plugged it in all manually, like ah. one at a time, and it didn't, it was weird. On Desmos, <clears throat> so on sorry Desmos. to interrupt you, but on Desmos, could you just plug in the beginning plot and the end plot and find everything in between? So let me show you guys how to do the table. I think I think it'd be easier if you just uh, did the table. So yeah, I'm gonna do table, right? So I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get just get rid of that. I wonder if this works, hold on. Yeah. Just gonna change that to Y. Right? And I'm gonna change this to X. So now I'm specifically plugging in X's and it's gonna spit out Y. So here's where I'm gonna put negative two. And why didn't it work? Why? Hmm. Uh, okay, let me try this. I wonder if this will do it. F. There we go. So in in Desmos, we actually have to call it a function. So we're calling it f of x. But now it works just how you want it to. Negative one, that's still undefined. Zero is still undefined. But now let's go ahead and use the values that are given to us. Uh, so it's point five is the first one, right? And then it goes, the next one is gonna be one, one, point five, two, two, point five, 
three. Does that make sense, Damon? Um, as far as no, Hold on, I can't find the F. <laughs> oh, uh, if you use the, uh, I know that. Uh, da, 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 why Try is typing this? the regular one, and it just yeah. comes up as error. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Let me try it again. Oh damn! I'm gonna just do the whole table. Technically, you don't have to call this F. You can call, I mean, whatever letter you can call it. So if I call this H, right? And I call up. this H, it'll still show up. Does that make sense? <coughs> call it whatever variable you can. This pops up as an error. Really? Yeah, it says table headers must be simple expressions. This type of expression is not allowed. Hmm. Well, I think I think I know what it is. You think you know? Nope, I didn't know. <laughs> well, it says too many variables. <clears throat> Let me. Wait for me. Hmm. Let me try. Do you want to share your screen to see what's going on? Yeah, just give me a few moments. Yeah. Well, I'm using my cell phone. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, so yeah, never mind. That's going to take forever. Yeah, let me try doing it on the computer. Yeah, try doing it on the computer where you can actually have a keyboard out. I have a feeling is you you the way that you typed it in. Okay, back to this thing. So notice what we have going on, right? Uh, everything before zero didn't work, right? And then everything after zero did, right? So we have the graph of it. Okay. Uh, How do we use uh, our graph to verify the value of f of 2? So f of 2 is telling us to do what? Make x equal 2 and then find the value. Right. So if x is equal to 2, what's the y, what's the y value? One. Right. So here is, let me actually draw them in. Right. Here's two. My y value is one. Right. And then same thing for B. How do we, um, how do we do B? My X is what? So my Y is what? So what's my X for, for part B? What's uh, X? You guys are dunzos, huh? Desmo's still acting up for me. Yeah. You like point five. Or right. No, so one. Yeah, so let me, let me do a different color, yeah? Bam. 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 Got it? Yes, sir. So this is going to be 0. 0.5 comma negative 1. So you guys see what happens 
So why is this un undefined? Why is f of negative one undefined? Does the graph even go toward negative one? No. Nope. So the graph The graph doesn't pass zero at all, right? right? You can see that from the Desmos one. It doesn't even exist way over here at all. It just exists everywhere from x equals zero to the positives. That's all you got. Okay. How do we use our graph for D? So that 3.5 is an X or a Y? It's Y. It's a Y in this case, right? So what's a good approximation for it? Uh, 11. What is it? 11. Okay. Three and a half. So we need that point right there. And that is pretty darn close to 11. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so now we need to find the precise solution to three point f of x equal 3.5 accurate to four decimal places. So I want to show everybody how to do it the, uh, in two ways. Uh, on your graphing calculators and in Desmos. So first of all, I want to do it in Desmos. If I recall correctly, I can put in my y value. So if I put 3.5 in, three, what's not letting me? Oh, I remember. So so for 3.5, I can click, I forgot this. I can click, come on. I can click on it. Come on. My, my computer's acting up a little bit. It's going to freeze if you keep clicking. I know, right? You guys hear me clicking on it? Yeah. Try not to rage quit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Jack from a plot point? Yeah, so... You're supposed to be, oh, come on. Yeah, I know what you mean. I was just about to be my next question. You can, That's what I do. Yeah, you can grab it and drag. So I need three and a half, right? Yeah, come on, I had it. There we go. That's 11.32. So our guess of 11 isn't that far off. Got it? Mm -hmm. Now, how do I do that on the calculator? So that's 11.32. So on the calculator, the way that, um, that we're gonna do it is this. We're gonna set the second Y equal to 3.5. Okay, so now if we graph it, what we're going to get is two different lines. I'm going to actually make it. Don't pay attention. Don't pay attention to this because. It's a 20. I'm changing my window so that it looks the same as our graph. Does that make sense? Yep. Yep. So I got. 
two y functions. One of them is the one that we want to find the intersection point to, right? And the other is the value. That's the 3.5 that we need, right? You guys remember how to do the intersect? Right? So we're going to go to calc, which is the blue above it. And we go to intersect. Now it's going to ask us a bunch of stuff. We hit enter all the way through and it gives us the point that we want. Do people need me to do that again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know I kind of rushed through it and it was a bunch of stuff. It, it was more pushing buttons than anything. So first of all, we're going to set Y equal to stuff, right? Our function that we want is the log base two of X. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the value that we want is the 3.5. Okay, so we set the 3.5 as a second equation. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the intersection function uh, for our calculator mm -hmm. to find the actual intersection point. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So we go back to graph. We basically want this point right here. We want that point right here. Right? So that's exactly why we need the intersection function. So we're going to go to calculate calc right here, okay. which is above the trace button. So since it's blue, we need to hit the blue button first in order to get there. And we scroll down to intersect five. Hmm. Now it's asking us first curve, hit enter, second curve, hit enter guess you really don't need to do anything here and you let it do its thing. We good? Uh, yeah. Okay. So for, for Thursday, uh, we'll finish this up, but there is not much for you guys to do because it looks like the same stuff that we were doing before. Compared to new stuff, you mean? Compared, yeah, compared to new stuff. All right, nothing wrong yeah. with that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, taking <clears throat> class is over. I'll stick around to answer questions if you guys need it. Yeah, can you help me figure out what's going on with Desmos? Like, why didn't it work? Yeah, you, you want to share your screen? Yeah, give me one second. Okay. Okay, let me stop the recording here.